Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here, and welcome to the latest version of Focus Friday. Today we're going to uh, cover a subject that I have covered before, but not yet in this tank, so I thought I'd do it again, and I can properly show you how I've organized it. And that subject is flow. So creating the optimal flow in your reef tank to make sure that um, well your fish and your corals thrive and are happy inside your reef tank. So as you might see the tank looks a bit cloudy that's not too bad since that's better to show uh, how flow is organized in my tank so let's use the opportunity of the dusty water the cloudy water to uh, to illustrate that. By the way it's caused by the uh, sand sifting gobies um, and maybe some other fish who are uh, shoveling in the sand and by doing that they uh, well they create a bit of a dusty uh, dusty looking water so that explains uh, before going into that subject there's something I want to show you uh, which is uh, next to the tank I've uh, organized my cabling a little better if you follow my Instagram you might have already seen a picture um, so this was a huge mess there's a lot of cables coming from the sump and um, well I still have to properly attach everything for example it's not all aligned perfectly yet but as of now the controllers for the pumps are here on the wall uh, all the cabling goes through this uh, this white box here and uh, into the cabinet so as you can see I've drilled a hole in here where all the cables go and then attached the old the good old Showtech DJ switch uh, inside the closet door here um, which then all connects back to this so there's 10 plugs in here and those 10 plugs are all connected to the equipment so this looks a bit messy which is not too bad and the power blocks are up here and as you can see there's some ventilation right here so the heat dissipation is handled correctly so that's something one of my viewers commented on or warned me for uh, make sure that there's enough heat dissipation possible uh, to ensure that the, the lifespan of these uh, um, these adapters is okay so let's close it back up so I'm fairly happy that this is settled right now and all the cables have gone so it creates a lot more room for space for me to work with here uh, in the small kitchen that's very conveniently located next to the tank so we were digressing. Um, let's get back to the subject of this video, which is, like I mentioned, flow. So to start off, there's a couple of uh, uh, pumps in my tank which uh, create flow. Uh, to start off, there's two max spec gyres on this opposite end of the tank here, uh, which are two XF230s, uh, and they're both aligned. Um, they're on a 80% forward. 70% backward rhythm where they go for 10 seconds blowing up and then for 4 seconds blowing down and that way alternating the flow uh, aim slightly upwards to the water surface and that way breaking the water <coughs> apologies uh, and then thus creating a circular flow so the flow goes to the top all the way across the tank and then it ends up somewhere here where uh, of course it ends up in the overflow box which is located right here and you can also as you can see right here the water is coming this way but then there's also something going this way and that's caused by these the JCOD SOW15 pumps um, so on each of the sides of the tank I have one of these pumps so on the other side there's one as well and that one is blowing the water slightly down so this is aimed a little bit down 
and by aiming it downward uh, it creates a, a flow that goes down slightly across the tank and then as you can see from these corals it moves this way then here it's slightly fading and then of course right here the water is ready do, to be picked up again by these two Maxpec gyres right here. So that way I have tried to uh, create a circular flow where the water goes up through the gyres all the way across the tank. Some of it gets in the overflow box, most of it will dwindle around here and then the JCOT pumps will then re again move the water here and in that way it will create kind of an infinite flow of water. Now there's of course also the return pumps so um, there's a, a 8000 liter return pump in my uh, sump and it's connected to uh, two PVC outlets uh, of which one of them is closed so this one on the left right here is uh, I've closed the valve and the one on the right is actually moving the water uh, all the way across the tank and then it ends up here I'll, so that's better it's visible a little bit better and then again there's two PVC outlets uh, which are aimed slightly to the sides it's better shown this way like this and these uh, then also insert the water from the sump back into the tank on the opposite end it's always a challenge when you're having a uh, when you have a, uh, a peninsula tank on how to uh, get the water uh, um, in the back of the tank or at the front just the way you look at it but at the end of the peninsula uh, since of course uh, you don't want your clean water which has just been through your sump to directly go back into the overflow box and uh, then uh, yeah it would be uh, you want the dirty water to go in there, not the, the water that just came from your sump, which is uh, in theory a little cleaner. So there's two types of uh, flow, one coming from the uh, return pump, which comes in at the top here, and then the flow created by the gyres and the uh, max packs which create the circular flow inside the tank. And that's also one of the secrets, or one of the secrets, one of the reasons is a better word, uh, why I uh, can keep my ascent so clean. Uh, of course not everywhere, so if you look closely and you zoom in a little more, you will see, still see there's some detritus here on the sand, uh, which is perfectly explainable, uh, since it's a fairly new tank, so it just it takes a lot of time. These patches used to be a lot bigger, um, but by creating a circular flow in your tank and making sure that the uh, that the clean water uh, circulates in your tank and the dirty water moves to your sump, uh, it's one of the basics on how to create a healthy tank life. So I'm just going to walk around the tank uh, to show you how clean your sand can be if you apply the proper flow to your tank. So it can be it can be hard to uh, to accomplish. You might need to tweak it quite a bit, um, since yeah, this the, the the flow in your tank is uh, uh, pretty hard to uh, uh, to get right. One thing that does help a lot, and I've also created a video on that a few weeks back, is to create a uh, open reef structure. Um, so you have to think about how you place your pumps. But also you have to think about how to uh, how to structure your reef. So you want the water to be able to go through every nook and cranny and every crevice as good as possible. So try to create an open reef scape. Try to place your rocks as far away from each other as possible. Create a lot of swim through spaces which is not only good for your fish but also very good for your overall tank health. So that was the subject of flow. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope uh, I've been able to show it to you as well as possible. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.